There is a man who is not appreciative of Don Rumsfeld uh, and his Iraq war. Uh, it is uh, Thomas Young. Well, he's an Iraq war veteran, and you uh, can understand why that he was not happy with Rumsfeld, and specifically George W. Bush and Dick Cheney, because uh, he wrote them what he called his last letter. He got hurt really bad in Iraq. Now, he had signed up right after 9-11. He wanted to go to Afghanistan and avenge the 3,000 people who had been killed on our soil. And he says in his letter, he was looking forward, and, he, and if he had gotten hurt this badly in Afghanistan, he would be proud, because at least he did what he set out to do. He was going to avenge the American citizens killed by Al-Qaeda. But Thomas is smart enough to know that Al-Qaeda had nothing to do with 9-11. And losing, uh, getting badly injured in uh, Iraq, to the point where he is on the point of death now, and is disabled, he says, well, that, of course, was not worth it. That was nothing but a pack of lies. In fact, let me quote the letter because it is dramatic. He says, quote, I write this letter on the 10th anniversary of the Iraq war on behalf of my fellow Iraq war veterans. I write this letter on behalf of the 4,488 soldiers and marines who died in Iraq. I write this letter on behalf of the hundreds of thousands of veterans who have been wounded and on behalf of those whose wounds, physical and psychological, have destroyed their lives. I am one of those gravely wounded. I was paralyzed in an insurgent ambush in 2004 in Sadr City. My life is coming to an end, and I am living under hospice care. He then says, I write this letter, my last letter, to you, Mr. Bush and Mr. Cheney. I write not because I think you grasp the terrible human and moral consequences of your lies, manipulation, and thirst for wealth and power, I write this letter because, before my own death, I want to make it clear that I, and hundreds of thousands of my fellow veterans, along with millions of my fellow citizens, along with hundreds of millions more in Iraq and the Middle East, know fully who you are and what you've done. You may evade justice, but in our eyes, you are each guilty of egregious war crimes, of plunder, and finally of murder, including the murder of thousands of young Americans, my fellow veterans, whose future you stole. Very powerful, obviously. Later in the letter, towards the end, he says, quote, We were used, we were betrayed, and we have been abandoned. And he ends the letter by saying, But mostly I hope, for your sakes, that you find the moral courage to face what you have done to me and to many, many others who deserve to live. I hope that before your time on earth ends, as mine is now ending, you will find the strength of character to stand before the American public in the world, and in particular the Iraqi people, and beg for forgiveness. Now, it's one thing when I say the war in Iraq went badly, it's easy for me to say, I'm a talk show host in the comfortable confines of a studio. It's another thing when a guy who fought there got paralyzed and might now lose his life. He wants to end his life because he's in so much pain. He's got a unique way of doing it. Uh, he doesn't want to shoot himself, and, but he's thinking of going to hospice care and, and ending his life there through not eating. I, I don't know if he can do that, and I hope he doesn't do that, and I hope we can find a way to help him, but he, he says he's in tremendous pain throughout and he can't take it anymore. And as he says, look, it would have been one thing if he, this had happened in Afghanistan. That's what he signed up for. It's another thing to mislead us and to send us into that debacle in Iraq where they all of his fellow veterans lost their lives for no reason at all. Saddam Hussein had nothing to do with 9-11. He had no weapons of mass destruction. And again, it's one thing for me to say it. It's another thing for a guy who's paralyzed on the edge of death to say it and say, what did you do this to me for? What did you do this to my friends for? Why did you take our honorable service and misuse it in this way? Basically, have you no conscience? And he knows the answer to that. Of course they don't have a conscience. But it's important for others to hear what really happened in Iraq and why Bush and Cheney did it and how they should be embarrassed and they should apologize, not just to as he points out, to our veterans, but also to the civilians, hundreds of thousands of civilians killed in Iraq. And it was powerful that he included that in his letter as well. But then to the whole country for the blood and treasure 
lost and spilled for no good reason for their avarice. High time they got a letter like this. I hope they at least have the courage to read it.